What's up? Welcome back. It's time for another block by block tutorial here on the Cowcraft channel. In this one, we're doing house number two from a recent video of mine, five best starter houses. This one I like to coin the bigger picture starter house. I'll, I'll link the video. I also go into detail about the house in that video, so I'm not going to say too much, but I wanted to mention one key takeaway. This is a large survival house. That is the goal. It's a starter house because of the easy to gather wood materials. I mean, we got forests over there. We got forests over here i mean come on because of the easy to gather resources this one is doable right away in survival minecraft but it's intended to be a longer term project and on that note it's also intended to last you a bit longer as a survival base therefore we have our survival needs such as storage chanting smelting all the good stuff all throughout so yes a starter house but a longer term project that is the goal and the result is a house that you Use for a longer period of time. For more details, again, go ahead and check out that video. It's in the description and there's a card on screen right now. But anyways, let's talk tutorial. And the first thing that we have to mention is, yo, even I ended up building this one wrong. Yes, in doing the tutorial, I legitimately built it wrong. In my original plans, I showed you this outline of the foundation, which is incorrect. We walked through it, that sort of thing. But to keep it as non-confusing as possible, Basically, this right here is the actual foundation that you need to build. I believe for the foundation, the best way to do it is just have it set in stone like this and copy it down. And so I both show you that in the tutorial and we walk through it again, get the dimensions and build it correct. But now, as for the rest of the tutorial, yo, I could not build this house again, I swear. It took so many hours, man, I'm sorry. But the key is there's not that much of a structure change to it. Really, all that happens is you can see it right here. This, this section right here, I found I accidentally built. I missed a block. It's supposed to be too wide. Right? So that was the problem spot. And I'm not going to lie to you. It looks a lot better when it's instead built like this. Yes, please, please do follow the foundation I put on screen. I'm going to make it as non-confusing as possible. But we'll also add in some picture threads right now on screen. Of basically all the different angles of the house. Just so that you can reference them. Just in case you get confused. And as for the rest of the building of the tutorial, you'll catch on to the pattern. And I truly believe that you will not have any difference building this house up correctly. But I will also add in captions, images as necessary, just to clarify those points where we did. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just getting used to this block by block tutorial thing, long video. So I really do appreciate your patience. And if you're not patient with me, then really? Okay, we've talked way too much. We're about to start building, but the key thing is it did not change the roof really. It just extended it by one length and i'm not gonna lie to you the roof is the most difficult but it's very doable especially when we're doing it block by block which it is now time for that is tutorial time let's go